morning. <laughs> this is how my day starts at the moment. It's 7.30 and my train is due in at about 7.45. I'm not going in every day and the way our trains work in our country means that means I've got to get a small mortgage out to pay for the single ticket. It's about £30 into London and then I'll get a reduced rail car fare for the way home. I must remember to get that ticket. Made it onto the platform, time to get the train. Hello, I'm Neil. <laughs> Hello, I'm Neil, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, especially big welcome. Today it's a bit of an unusual video. Usually I help high achieving creators and performers just like you to get ideas out here onto YouTube but I haven't been posting very much for the last few weeks and I wanted to make a video about why, why that is. Uh, I thought I'd do that by making a video about my daily routine at the moment. I'm, I'm doing some work in London, so I thought I'd take you along with me for that journey. But the first thing I've got to do is to get into London. So it's 7.45, the train's on time, it's always a good thing. Uh, I like to go on the back carriage because it's usually quiet, but I don't know if you can see, the whole train is quiet anyway. Use my knuckles, obviously. The government advice at the moment is to work from home for the next two weeks at least, uh, till the 19th of July. So we've got a really nice, <laughs> nice clean, quiet train. I do my morning pages every single day for half an hour and there's no getting out of it even though I'm on the train. Except thanks to the face mask when my glasses steam up. I still can't believe how empty these platforms are. These are really major stations and usually before the Rona, these platforms would be absolutely heaving with passengers. We want everyone traveling with us to feel safe. After the writing, I've been reading, typing and tearing out 13 pages, which is pretty good for this session, but I've got to go through all of these pages at some stage. As we head into London, I'm walking to the front of the train to get there just that little bit quicker. I guess it's my morning exercise. And, the train's being held at some signals on the way into Waterloo Station. Finally, we get into London Waterloo a little late. Some things never change. And you can see there in my eyes just how happy and grateful I look for this service. So it's 8.57, made it to uh, Waterloo. Time to go on the tube now, over to Camden Town.
I'm going to mention this a few times now, so sorry about this, but when I was a school kid and 11 years old, I used to make this same tube journey every day until I was 16, except in the opposite direction. And it's still really weird being back at Camden Town Station. I remember bounding down the escalators three stairs at a time to check the dot matrix indicator at the bottom there. Still not used to it. This is Camden Town and this is where I grew up. Just so happens I'm working here for the first time in the place where I grew up. And I used to do that journey every morning, but the other way round. <laughs> Still not used to being here. Um, it's been about 20 years since I've been here properly. And I'm still not used to it being so quiet as well. Look at it. I think it, I think it gets a bit busier later on. But even so, this, I've never seen it like this at all. Down here is, if I flip the camera, that's my old infant school. I made a whole video about this. I put it on screen now and in the description. But, oh my goodness, it is so weird walking past my old little infant school every morning to work. Let's go down and have a look because I made that video about what's happening to it about two years ago and get run over. What's happening is they're knocking it down for the Camden Town Underground Station. So it will not look like this for much longer. I think it's probably going to take a couple of years to build the new underground entrance. And they're going to bulldoze this little Victorian uh, infant school that taught me all my nursery rhymes, taught me the colours. <laughs> the reason I can do this now right now is because of that building and all my lovely teachers in it. All the infants, it's moved, it's closed down. They're not gonna bulldoze a school with the kids still in it, that, that would be wrong. But it's been derelict now for about oh, two, three years. Anyway, that, that video is a nice video if, you, if you've got some time on your hands. Then I crossed the bridge over there to get to the building I work in, which is just opposite Camden Lock Market. Obviously, I don't think my employers would be that happy about me filming in the office. So I'll, I'll give you some shots from the window and some uh, pictures that I took from the roof. The upside with filming here is that a lot of people get their camera out. So I, don't, I feel like I'm blending in by filming this for you. Hello. It's now about lunchtime and I need to go back to do my calls to the the United States, the, the America. So, a bit of a rush, because I'm trying to get the 1.30, it's one o'clock now. Let's see if I can get from Camden to Waterloo in under 30 minutes. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Let's see if I can do this. I love it. I'm against the clock, and this tube train could not go any slower if it tried. This isn't my train. I think this is the first train to Charing Cross. I know that I am in a rush because that is why the trains are running so slowly. Yeah, that's that's not my train. It was this one. Turns out this, this footage right here, isn't slowed down. Okay, out of the tube station, now over to a ticket machine to get my network rail card ticket. Okay, we are on platform 14, which is just over here. Wow, you're bringing me luck because I have never been able to do that journey in under 25 minutes. 
I managed to get here for 1.25, uh, ready for the 1.30, so we're good, we're good. Thank you, London Underground, Northern Night. You rock. And we're home. <laughs> so that was quick. Everything ran to time. It's not always like that, even in these uh, difficult times. But uh, yeah, very grateful to the train actually making it back. Bang on the dot. Can you please help my daddy get 10,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks. Bye. All right. This is going to be the proper one, Mike.